But I'm going to be showing you guys my favorite lipsticks, whether that be the mauve or nude or purple. Basically, since I've been getting a few comments asking what I'm wearing on my lips, I decided to just film a video on my favorite lipsticks. If you guys are wondering what color I'm wearing, mostly it's going to be the ones I'm going to show you, but sometimes I will switch it up and wear something completely different. But let me know if you want me to start leaving it in the description box of what I'm wearing, if that'll be easier for you guys or if you'll be interested in that, so just let me know. Also, you'll find these colors being featured a lot on my Instagram, and if you're not following me there, I would really love it if you guys want to go follow me. So my Instagram is beautybabeyt. I will also have it linked in the description box below, so you can just click that and be directed to my Instagram, and you can just click that follow button, which is really easy to do. Before we get this video started, if you want me to do more kind of of try on makeup types of videos give it a thumbs up but finally the last thing I have to say before I just start to ramble and get sidetracked if you want to subscribe to my channel that would be awesome the button will be floating up on the screen here I really should learn what corner the subscribe button is on but it's in one of these corners so if you just want to click that that would be awesome and now finally let's get this video started so these are my bare lips with nothing on them. So I've got all my favorite lipsticks here in this little bag. And the only thing I have on my lips, just so that the color is as perfect as it can be, is the MAC Prep and Prime Lip Primer. So that's the only thing I have on my lips. And it's clear, so it does not affect the shade at all. And just a little disclaimer before we jump right into this video. The lip colors are going to look different on everyone. We all have different skin tones and undertones. So just keep that in mind when we are trying on the lip colors. So the first shade that I have here is a NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Abu Dhabi. I really hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Basically what a soft matte lip cream is, it's very self-explanatory. It's a soft, so it's not um, really drying to your lips, and it's matte and it's a cream. So that is basically everything you need to know about this lip product. This one, it's almost like my lips, but just slightly look browner and obviously matte. So let's just try it on. When soft matte lip creams, basically what happens is they kind of come on as a cream kind of satin look but after a couple minutes they are completely matte which I absolutely love so this one like I said is Abu Dhabi mm -hmm. <laughs> the next lip color is also from NYX and I'm not exactly sure of the kind of lipstick that it is but it looks like this it's a regular lipstick this one is more of a brown reddish mauve color it is a satin finish so it's not matte but it definitely isn't like a luster or a frost color and this one is in the shade 565 <laughs> This one is definitely one of my favorites. It took me a while to really, really fall in love with it, but I just recently fell absolutely in love with this product. It is just, it goes on so smooth and just really creamy. I don't know, I really, really like this color and I feel like it matches any makeup look that you're going for. So whatever you're doing with your makeup, this color will definitely go with anything. I would definitely recommend putting primer on this, however, um, just because it is so creamy, it can kind of bleed outside your lip line. So I would recommend priming your lips beforehand, but just the color itself is gorgeous, so I don't really mind. This next lip color I'm so excited to wear for the fall time. Pretty much all of these colors are for any season, but especially this one is my favorite to wear in fall because it, just the name, Touch of Spice. This one, I think it is from... L'Oreal. Some people hate the smell of L'Oreal lipsticks, but I love them. So I'm pretty sure it's L'Oreal, but it could be Maybelline, to be quite honest. I'm not sure, because there's no brand name on here. It is by Maybelline, and the color is Touch of Spice, and this is a matte lip color. I definitely like mattes more than I do satins, but definitely satins are obviously great too. <laughs> 
So this lip color definitely reminds me of the NYX one, but this one's matte and the other one's not. Um, but as you can tell, they look very similar, but like I said, there's the slightest difference. That's why I have like five jizzillion lipsticks. This one, again, just like the NYX one, goes with any type of makeup look that you're going for. It's not sheer by any means, but it is a wonderful lipstick and it doesn't fade, it doesn't bleed outside your lip line, so you don't need to prime this. And it's just a really good, like, on to go, throw it on. You don't even need to look in a mirror because it's so easy just to throw on. And that's why I love it so much. Staying with the theme of a brickish nude color, this one is from Revlon. It's the Colorburst Matte Lip Balm in the shade Sultry. This one I really like because it twists up, so there's no need to sharpen it because it's like a huge pencil. And also, it gives a kind of minty sensation on your lips, which I personally love. This one is a bit lighter than Touch of Spice and obviously more matte than the NYX one, but they are kind of all in the same family in the sense of color. So I really like this one. It's really smooth. It doesn't make my lips look dry. So I was having some camera issues, so I'm really hoping that it's still in focus and everything looks the same. Um, but as I was saying, this next one is hands down my... I'm not going to say my number one favorite. I'm saving my number one favorite for the very last lipstick. But this is hands down in the top five. This one is from NARS, and it's in the shade Anna. Love, love, love this color. I wear it pretty much every day. Um, I just... Oh my god, I love this shade so much. Like all the other lip shades, this one goes on very smooth and I don't find the need to prime it. It lasts for such a long time, which is perfect for school or work. Can we just talk about the packaging for a minute? It has a magnetic closure, so even if you close it like on the opposite side of where it actually needs to be closed, it kind of flips itself and it's just... Now let's jump onto the total opposite side of the scale and go for a sheer nude color. This one is from L'Oreal and it's in the shade Jennifer's Nude. But this one I really like because like the NARS one, I kind of go off and on with this one and then the very last one because there's only one more. I kind of go off and on with this one. I love it a lot but sometimes I want something more dramatic but still like subdued but definitely more noticeable than this one. This is kind of a my lips but better shade in the sense where it's honestly it's a sheer nude. You're not going to see much color especially if you have darker lips like I do. But anyway let's just try it on. I wear this one a lot in my videos as well because it just goes with anything. If I want my eyes to stand out more than my lips, this is the first thing that I grab. And I honestly, I feel like it moisturizes my lips too because my lips, I don't know, if they're really chapped, it doesn't accentuate it. It really just helps it. And that sounds strange with definitely for a lipstick, but it's just great. And I definitely recommend if you're just starting out with makeup to grab this because it's such an easy and quick color that just matches everything. And last but certainly not least, we have one last color. And this one is suited well in this bag, if that's a little hit for you. It is my newest lipstick to my collection, and this one is a MAC lipstick in the shade Syrup. This one is hands down my favorite. I honestly, I've had it for a week, and I already knew I love it. I wore it every single day. I am obsessed with it. And I just need it, you guys, to know about it, because I feel like not a lot of people talk about this color on YouTube and I don't really know why. I don't believe it's a new color, um, but if I haven't said it already, it's in the shade Syrup. I am in love with this. I think this is going to be my favorite lip shade in my whole entire collection. That's including lip glosses, lip balms, and lipsticks. Most of my lip shades are back here, but I just feel like we just have a special connection. <laughs> This one, I just feel like I am gonna love it every single day. I already love it. Even if I wanna do a super dramatic look and just put this on my lips, it'll look good. And I am just really excited when I saw this. So please guys, if you have not checked this out, 
definitely go to your nearest Mac store or counter and check this out because it is just such a beautiful shade and it just feels so smooth and beautiful on my lips. So what did you guys think of the video? I really hope you liked it. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give me a thumbs up and also if you want to see more of these videos, definitely subscribe to my channel. All that means is that you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. Obviously, you don't want to miss when I upload a video, so definitely subscribe. The button is right on one of these corners. Also, there should be a subscribe button underneath my face down if you're on a phone or a tablet. And I love you guys so, so much, and I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs> I love you so much. Aww, I love you so much. I wish the camera could like just pan down by itself because you guys need to see how cute Leon is. Ugh, you're such a heavy boy. This is a better view of Leon. Oh, oh, you probably got lipstick all over you, you crazy boy.